old LMS felt very basic. Uh, it was the place for me as a teacher to upload documents, but that was about it. Other than core course content, there was nothing drawing me or my students back to the platform. When Schoology groups were introduced at our district, everything changed. The communication and collaboration capable in a group in Schoology is making my everyday better. Groups are a place in Schoology that's not determined by the SIS, but by our needs outside of the classroom. Maybe a group of teachers want to share resources as a PLC. They can create a group. Maybe there's a varsity basketball team that needs to share out uh, details with players. Groups are perfect for that. Maybe an administrator wants feedback from bilingual parents at the school. Groups can help kickstart those conversations. I mean, I've seen groups used in many unique ways, and each one keeps me and my students coming back to Schoology. For me as a teacher, one of the most helpful Schoology groups is curriculum and instruction. The district has done a great job of creating a community around curriculum. That community starts on the group page. It's different than a course because it's all about the conversation. Updates get sent out as polls for more conversation or reminders of key department topics. Those posts are aggregated into our homepage or even sent as app alerts. All the upcoming events are clearly shown to encourage participation. Now, this month, they are implementing an instructional meeting to discuss the unit guide where we'll be able to talk through all of our best practices. I even like how the district started awarding a Teacher of the Week. It's been a great opportunity to get recognized and celebrated amongst peers. For more in-depth conversations, there are discussions. These are tied to the group and allow for high-level or in-the-weeds conversation relevant to us as teachers every day. I'm the only one that teaches world history at the middle school, so this has been a big benefit to my instruction. I can now have conversations with other world history teachers across the district about what works best in their classrooms. I've received many great ideas just from the comfort of my own computer. In addition, albums serve as an image and video repository in order to showcase great lessons or sample projects. In the past, I've never seen how Mrs. Thomas teaches world history but now I can actually see your classroom in action and ask questions or even comment on her examples directly. This kind of functionality has really made all the members of the group excited about being better as teachers together. Updates, discussions, and albums are all designed to bring users together. And in the resources section of a group, we can begin to create and even share. The resources area is where our district has built out Schoology to operate as a learning object repository. In resources, I can access curriculum framework documents, but I can also access specific units as well. And with those units, I can find individual resources to use in my own course. I can even copy over entire lessons. These lessons aren't just plans or guides, but actually student-facing content that I could use tomorrow in class with my students. So it's not just curriculum planning anymore, but course building. In terms of the materials available in groups, Schoology makes it easy to create content natively, such as assignments, assessments, discussions, rubrics, and more. I'm also able to bring in resources I created in other systems from Google, Microsoft, Blackboard, or wherever. Specifically, though, for a previous LMS like Blackboard, when the district switched to Schoology, I was able to use their native importer to bring fully built Blackboard course content into Schoology in order to share with other teachers in a group or use it in my new courses in Schoology. The beauty of importing legacy LMS content is I can now think of how I can Schoologize it and make it even more engaging for my students. If I come across content shared by the curriculum team or another teacher that would work well with my students, adding it is a breeze. I simply select the course content I want and add it to my course. Now once there, it's ready to be used with all my students. Over the last couple of months, I've pulled a lot of great resources from this group, which has really saved me a lot of time. I'm able to contribute content to a PLC group as well, but for right now, I'm all about using the awesome resources being shared through the Learning Object Repository. Of course, I contribute in a lot of other groups, and at my school, teachers wear a lot of hats. For example, I'm the group admin for our class of 2020. It's a student-run group that I facilitate and oversee, but college applications and prom wait for no one. Students are already busy talking and making preparations, and it's great to see them collaborating in the platform. In another group, I'm providing the videography for the volleyball team. 
Shooting video and sharing content for updates and albums has been a consuming task, but whenever I see my volleyball players log into Schoology and see their highlight reels, they're also uh, getting the reminder about tomorrow's tests. Now we call that a two for one. I think the district as a whole was surprised by the amount of groups that were created in the first year, and I know that they are excited to see the growth still happening. Groups have been a great contribution to our district and have caused Schoology to be a hub of discussion and collaboration. Groups are really making my everyday better.